um, the text of this response to all the national elephants claim that uh, the former governor, His Excellency Peter Obi, detained him in Obi, I mean in uh, Oka. And the text message, uh, the statement reads as follows Setting the record straight on LFI Blanchard Line and Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Actually, on the 16th of November 2013, I was the Interparty Advisory Council Chairman then. I was in charge of all political parties, leaders who were at Fonitel Hotel in Oka, Anambra State. Normally, all complaints that come from all political parties come to my table. We had a situation organized by the International Republican Institute. A Mala Relation with Erufai and my humble self and many others actually stayed in the same hotel. I was surprised that Mala Nasu Erufai will claim that he was attacked or more or less being gagged because when he complained, we really investigated and conducted a press conference on the matter and signifying that the fact that Malan El Rufai was at the same time the Deputy National Secretary of the APC. And so he should be allowed to perform his duty according to party dictates. And then there was no ambiguity because the security apparatus were actually protecting everybody because there was a high level of people staying at Fonitel Hotel. So the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, who was the governor of the state at that time, has nothing to do with any security issue that was labelled on him by Malam Nasur el -Fai. I have pictures to prove how we addressed the press conference at Fonitel Hotel, Aqua Oka, condemning the DSS, DSS for illegally detaining el -Fai. He never for once mentioned, never for once mentioned Peter Obi all through this long process of helping him getting out of the jam. Like I said earlier, communication technology has gone digital. You don't have to stress much to get your facts. The same Malan Elifai went to court at the same issue. Obi was not mentioned. Rather, it was the DSS he got judgment against then. And it was a PDP government at the center, and Peter Obi was a governor flying the flag of the Afghan. The court awarded the sum of two million naira for damages for unlawful detention. Go into the internet and you will see the full details. Precisely, it was published in Premium Time and Sahara Reporters of September 24, 2014. Copies attached. The facts are all there for all descending Nigerians to see that all has been saying that tissues of lies deliberately designated to rubbish our presidential candidate. This is tagged to continue to lie to our people in the north, to create a divide for